When the Katara first entered the den, children's stories of the Magwars began slowly surfacing from the recesses of his usually disciplined mind. Stories of walls coated in disgusting web-like substances and horrible monsters birthing from an unending supply of eggs. Stories that have only grown in range and intensity through generations of gossip, superstition, and carefully cultivated Songhai propaganda. The reality, as he soon disappointingly learned, was a bit more... clinical. The Katara quietly snuck past various rooms containing polished tables with several neat rows of glowing eggs. Attending them were various primordial gazers, looking at and touching eggs of various shapes and sizes. Some eggs as small as a fist, while the largest only being half a meter or so in height. The gazers, whenever they touched an egg, closed their eyes and stood perfectly still, as if in deep meditation, perhaps checking the health of an egg through some inner sense. As the Katara continued crawling through numerous ducts and jumping from rafter to rafter like a zoo, he began to see eggs hatching, birthing rexes and grows. Thankfully, most likely the largest creatures he would encounter birthing in this place. This was one of the smaller and newer dens found by the Songhai, a place to be watched but not really considered a threat yet. It had, of course, been observed for quite some time with the hope of encountering some useful intelligence, which eventually brought about the Katara's current mission. News of a recent visit to the den too good an opportunity to miss. As the Katara reached the final room in the deepest part of the den, he saw his target, Starhorn the Seeker, one of the leaders of the Magmar aspects and one of the oldest creatures in existence. Starhorn stood alone in the center of a large chamber. In front of him was a table containing one single egg his hand touching it and his body absolutely still. Perhaps he was experimenting with a new form of beast or assessing the health of an old one. The Katara would not let him finish either way. With a swift burst of speed, the Katara moved from the door, running towards the unprotected back of the Seeker. In one smooth motion, he jumped three meters into the air. Turning 180 degrees, his feet briefly touched the ceiling before quickly pushing off. Raising his hands, he used his downward momentum, gravity, and his knife arms to stab with the force of a tusk bore. His four knives stab easily into flesh. Too easily. No blade, no matter how sharp, can stab into the scaly back and toughened muscle of a magma without some resistance. The Katara immediately jumped back, taking in the surroundings, awaiting for some trap to spring. He was not disappointed. Almost immediately, the false star horn burst like an overripe melon, its insides simply a biological slurry in the shape of a being. Most of the liquids fell to the floor. But some coated the egg, causing it to shift and change until it finally burst, revealing a rex. The simple animal panting and its eyes looking at him with something like mild curiosity. A sound behind the Katara made him look around, allowing him to see the real Starhorn at the door. The face of Starhorn was impassive, but his eyes spoke volumes. The Katara expected malice in those eyes, or even detachment. Instead, he saw eyes that spoke of a deep sadness, but also a deeper purpose. The eyes of an ancient being who has seen too much death, but knows he must see much more before his time is done. Before the Katara could react, Starhorn's eyes glowed green, and the wall surrounding the door quickly engulfed it, forming a wall of hardened flesh. At the same time, a scream reverberated in the chamber. Turning back to the Rex, the Katara saw green energy surrounding the creature, and an almost impossible speed, the Rex transformed from a simple pet into a hulking leviathan. Its flesh, constantly shifting and changing if it was unstable and would break down at any second. It roared and lumbered towards the Katara, its purpose clear. In the moment of clarity before death, the Katara realized the truth. Starhorn knew he was being washed. Worse, he most likely intentionally let this den be seen by the Songhai Empire. And it was all for a single purpose. For what better way to test a new creature? to have a face-off against one of Songhai's most elite assassins. In the continent of Magari lies the Magmar Aspects. One of the oldest civilizations in existence, they are the masters of flesh and bone. Able to craft life itself to their purpose, the same way a blacksmith will craft armor or weaponry. A skill they use with brutal efficiency. To be a member of the Magmar Aspects, to fight with life itself as a weapon. To show the younger races the wisdom of your actions through spoken word, or sharpen fang. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the short story slash description of the Magmar Aspects. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll keep doing it. Not only for Duelists, but for other tabletop and video game worlds that I enjoy writing stories for. Anyway, thanks for listening, and see you next time.